hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well um in this video i'm going to be answering some questions and sharing some a few details about me okay i'm going to start off with my screen name della classy sassy diva 617 della is part of my first name classy is because i consider myself a classy woman sassy i could be a little sassy tongue sometimes and diva because i'm a diva point blank period and 617 is the area code of my hometown okay my name is albertella a l b e r d e l l a um where i'm from i'm from boston massachusetts um, I get this, oh, excuse me. I get this question a lot. Ever since I was young, where did you get your name from? I get that a lot. And to this day, I still get asked that question. Um, because it's so unique. I never heard my name before and people want to know where it came from so i'm going to tell you guys my again my grandmother named me um there was an old black radio station which turned into a comedy show called amos and andy this is from the 50s there was there was a young lady by the name of Patty, Patty Marie Ellis. She played the character of Arabadella. See, what my grandmother did is switch the second letter of the name. She put it, she switched it from R to an L to make my name Arabadella and hers Arabadella. So that's the only difference. She just switched the second letter of the name to an L instead of an R. So that's where I got my name from, Amos and Andy. Actually, I do own a couple of those old shows, and they are pretty funny. They ain't pretty fun. They are funny. So maybe y'all can Google them or even look up on YouTube and watch them. They pretty good. I really enjoy watching them. Okay. I also get um, a lot of where's, what's the origin of my name? I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what my grandmama, I don't know the meaning of my name. But um, I have so many people telling me it's Latin, French, Italian, so many different things. But it's um, Latin, German, in English, Albert is Latin for yielding to prayer. Della is German in English, me noble and nobility. So that's the origin of my name. Okay. Um, do I have siblings? Yes, I do. My mother has seven beautiful girls. They told her the last two were boys. But they was girls. Okay, I also have four, four other siblings from a previous marriage from my father's side, three brothers and a sister. A lot of people use the word stepsister and brother, which technically is the right term, but I don't like using that word because it makes them seem like they worthless. They ain't, you know, make them sound cheapy, less of a person. I just don't like using the word step. My damn voice is changing. Damn, sorry, y'all. But I just don't use the word step. Um, When I introduce them to my friends or anybody, these are my, my brother, my sister. I love them just as equally, so... It is what it is. All right. Um, I also get 
ask what's my background and I'll be like, I'm black. They'll be like, you look like you more, you mix with something else. Well, I do have, um, you know, different ethnicities in me, you know. Um, I'm Jewish, Jamaican, Native American, and I'm also Mexican and Peru. Peru, I'm from my mother's side, Mexican from my father's side. Um, I have Native American on both sides of my family. Um, my father's side, Jewish. My grandmother, his mother, was Jewish and Jamaican. So I do, yeah. And oh my God, that woman was something else. Yes, yeah, so yeah, that's what that came from. Um, do I know how to speak Spanish? No, not, I know a little bit of Spanish. Um, I know how to cuss you out in Spanish. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's that. Um, things I like to do, I like shopping. I like cooking. I love spending time with my family. I like um, painting and doing DIYs. I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. There was one time that I was so upset because people thought I was adopted. And it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Kind of hurt my feelings that they think that I was even asked, was my parents, my parents, um, or my grandmother was my grandmother. I'm like, yes, my father's mother. You look at my father's mother, oh my God, you, you see the Caribbean in that woman, Lord have mercy. Rastafari, yes. My Nana, oh my God, yes. And the reason why they ask are my siblings my siblings because I'm lighter than the rest of them. And my parents, I'm lighter than my parents. And I explained to her, that we come in different shades of blackness because I'm lighter or darker than my parents. It doesn't mean that necessary that we are adopted or they're not my parents or whatever. And I just always said because I'm lighter because, you know, being black, you're not 100% black. You might find some European in your blood due to slavery and having these babies by these black slaves, raping these black women. I'm just, that's what happened. Um, that just bothered me. That really hurt my spirit that somebody would think that because of I'm um, lighter, that meaning that I was adopted and my siblings were my siblings, my parents, that really hurt me terribly. It left something, I mean, it left, I don't know, it just left a scar on me. I'm like, wow. But they're my parents. I got DNA that prove it that they are. <laughs> so, yes, guys, I'm going to end this video. Um, I just want to share that a little bit because I've been asked a lot about some of the things I discussed it with you guys today. I'm so tired. 
go take me a nap. All right, guys. Until the next video, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And guys, continue to be safe. And hopefully, things will get back to normal. I just wish we can have things back to normal. There's too many people dying from this coronavirus. And it's scary as hell. So just be careful and be safe. And pray for those who lost their loved one to this virus. Let them know that we care and just hang on and just pray for them. I pray every night, not just for me. I pray for everybody. I don't have to know you to pray for you because I want the best for everybody. Even though you don't like me or the skin tone that I'm in, I love you though. That's not going to change me from praying, not praying. Do that. And hopefully, things will get better. I have faith. I have faith in my Heavenly Father. I do. Don't give up, guys. We're going to get through this. Bye, guys.